Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is going to be your March 2021 mini cross reading. I've already done some shuffling and meditation on your sign and glyph. No cards popped out, so it kind of means that everything is steady. I will be uh, using the Radiant White deck. I will be clarifying with Levita Sabila. But this time, we will be wrapping the reading up with an angel answer card. I know some of you have been emailing me going, I miss those cards. So I'm bringing them back for you for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and do a bit more shuffling. And then we will lay, oh, well, I spoke too soon. We will lay the cards. <laughs> we'll see what that card has to say. It did want to present itself. cut them what's this card it is the seven of pentacles that's such a funny card because it's been coming out a lot uh in readings uh, even in personal readings that i've been doing for people um and i just think it's kind of like the the idea that we're all just kind of waiting we've been conserving we've been conserving our energy our time our money because we can't really do anything and so we're just kind of waiting for, you know, the just reward of life kind of going back to normal. So that's the first thing. So we'll, we'll deal with that. The Knight of Pentacles. So this is a, some kind of financial news, I would take it. The Four of Swords. Huh. The Eight. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, the Eight of Wands, and this just came out in the same space for the Pisces. The Page of Swords. So now I have two court cards here. The Page of Cups. Huh. This reads like some kind of small illness. Okay, like a cold or something. Not feeling well. Five of Cups. Wow, the judgment card, big energy there. <clears throat> and finally, the two of pentacles. So I have three court cards, uh, three, three um, what do you call it? Three cups in this there, these three people in the center. So there's this theme of three here, okay? So I don't know if this is about children uh, would be young children, infants up to, let's say, maybe uh, their teenage years, right before they're about to turn 20 or 21. I'm not exactly sure. I have these two pages here, a page of swords, an air sign individual, a page of cups, a water sign individual. But basically, the pages are just news and messages for me. That's how that's how it always works. Um I don't have any repeater numbers. I have a two, a four, a five, a seven, and an eight. Okay, what is underneath the deck? There it is, the six of cups. So I don't know if this is about children. Uh, the six of cups is about nostalgia and childhood and sentiment. It could also be the idea of you maybe redecorating or refurbishing your home. Um, I just get the sense that you've been working really, really hard and something has changed for you financially, which gives you the opportunity to kind of rest and take a step back, okay? Now, sometimes two pages can be like a small illness. So maybe you just worked yourself and worked yourself and now you're not feeling well, all right? But to me, the pinnacles always, I'm sorry, the pinnacles, the knights always represent this idea of a situation moving along. We see you standing around waiting on the rewards, the accolades, the, the, the notice, whatever this thing is that you've been waiting for, you've worked hard for. I just find it odd that we have this five of cups here because that's a card of sorrow and a card of regret. So I'm not exactly sure if this is the idea that something came along for you. Um, it may have in some way 
something that you you know how we sometimes we ask for things oh i wish i could have this or i wish i could do that or man if i had that i would do x and then we get it and then it turns out not to be exactly what we thought it was or there's an unforeseen cost okay to it um because i see here from the resting we we have to get up we move quite suddenly the eight of wands always speaks to some other kind of news something coming in from afar typically when the eight of wands shows up it says that events are going to be moving extremely fast and all you can do is kind of hang on and we see these messages so to me the page of swords is is about some kind of um communication that is really on a mental level okay uh the swords represent thoughts belief perceptions ideas and communications here with this surprise emotional message and we see that that gives us this five of cups here crying over spilt milk or crying over the past or feeling as though we've wasted something but the truth of the matter is i always call this card the five two of cups in disguise there's two cups here so i really don't know if you are feeling not feeling well okay um but suddenly something else happens some other kind of announcement is made right where you're literally going to be called to a new life some kind of drastic change but on the back side of that it leaves you juggling a couple of things i've seen this card show up when it speaks about juggling two jobs having to work two jobs for a time or trying to keep all of your balls in the air without dropping anything but for me the two of pinnacles speaks about a choice there's two things that you're going to be called to do and you're going to have to determine what those two things are or how you're going to get them done now i don't know if this relates to children or not so i'm going to take a look to see if the seven the eight the four the five and the two tell me anything as it relates to the judgment card okay it looks like there's a lot happening here but the energy coming off of the spread is really kind of it's sort of like a dreamlike state I, I don't know if that makes any sense i feel as though you may you're moving you're doing whatever you're doing maybe you're not feeling very well but you kind of feel like maybe you're in a mental fog of some kind right because you're so focused on something that you feel like you've lost or that you regret i'm going to look at that card for you so let me take a look at the seven of pentacles here i have one two three pentacles two swords two cups a wand and a major arcana card so the seven of pentacles nothing about the seven of pentacles the four of swords it's just an odd kind of an energy coming off of this um the four of swords well <clears throat> with the judgment it is a message to avoid complicated situations it indicates that you have undergone a great deal of pressure recently and it would be unwise to step into a similar situation it may be implying that you have undergone much pressure in this situation so take it as a lesson well learned and avoid any similar speculation or involvement in the future learn from the experience and understand and appreciate the lesson because it also says uh with three court cards it indicates that there are some misunderstandings um with any it, it is a message not to proceed with any new ventures or relationships unless you feel absolutely secure it is most important to check the fine details before proceeding as there is a possibility of difficulties arising that's what this is some of you've already done this and now you find yourself in a situation where you don't quite know what to do so remember when i was saying it feels like a dreamlike state you're just kind of in your head trying to figure out what do i need to do what am i supposed to do what am i going to do about this well i don't know definitely twos or a decision okay or a choice or crossroads so you're going to have to make some kind of decision the eight of wands nothing about the eight of wands we will now look at the five of cups next to the judgment 
It is an indication that karmic conditions or karmic lessons have been well learned and have passed. The way is now clear for new endeavors. Bright blessings are on their way into your life. That's what this is. You're trying to just like gather your bearings. But remember when I said this is a call to a new life, a drastic change, you're going to have to either accept the situation as it is or endeavor to make that change. That's what the two of coins is about. You have a choice to do two different things or to go in two different directions. And you are all a see about that. But you're going to have to make a decision. Um, I mean, you can drag your feet, but it's, you know, you're going to have to make a decision. <laughs> so let me see what the two of pentacles has to say here. It doesn't say anything. But it does say with any five before or after, and here we have the five of cups, any five. It implies that your energies are being scattered, leading to undue stress and confusion. Slow down, relax, and think carefully about each step you take at this time. Allow things to flow as they will. Remember I said you feel like you, you're sick or you've been under the weather? It just has that feeling to it, right? But I think it's only because you have gotten yourself into a situation that I would well say, based upon this card, that you knew it was going to turn out like this. You just kind of did it thinking, hoping that maybe it wouldn't. But I think you, if you think about it, right, when you were thinking about doing it, you knew. But you did it anyway, right? <laughs> so a little red flag that we didn't pay attention to. Now, I don't know if this is a, a childhood friend or maybe it has to do with children or maybe it has to do with a home or uh, moving or traveling, something of that nature. There's a lot of movement in this spread. Let me look at this Five of Cups for you. Again, the casa comes out, the home. The messagere, a letter from afar, news from afar. Now, this kind of speeds up the timing. So this could be within a, a, a day to a week. And the Belvedere. This is telling me that for some of you, the news has already come in the mailbox. It's, it's there. It has already arrived. For others of you, um, this will be happening. There it is. We see it. Okay. And so... The Belvedere is the card of waiting for the news or someone to come, the imminent arrival. Um, but it also says that while you are waiting, so it's associated with all of the, the emotions of anxiety and trepidation and angst. And uh, <clears throat> But the card says that while you are looking ahead and waiting for this to happen or occur, you really should be looking at yourself and why it is you chose to become involved in a situation that I think you knew was not going to, was not in your own best interest. Let me put it that way, okay? And so uh, I'm going to pull some, uh, give you an opportunity to ask a question of the angel answer cards. Because sometimes two pages can be the idea that um, there's been some kind of disagreement amongst quote unquote friends. Okay? I've seen it show up like that. Traditionally, it is saying someone is under the weather, they're not feeling well, a slight illness, overexertion, or simply just emotionally not feeling well. Yeah? But the universe is going to give you an opportunity to course correct. That's what I'm looking for. Here's your card. This card says romance. Now, I don't know what that's about. And maybe this is the idea that, you know, you thought that you were going to get with somebody and everything was going to be lovely. It could be a childhood romance, so to speak, from your childhood. Everything was going hunky-dory and then boom. Right? So... The card says romance. So, let me see what the message is for this. It's quite interesting. A very important relationship is about to enter or has recently entered your life. 
This is the relate the romance that you have been waiting for, but like all partnerships, there may be ups and downs. Do not let that deter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay. If your question was about a current relationship, you can expect the parties to become closer to one another. Past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow. All relationships have peaks and valleys. This card indicates an upward movement to a new level of dedication and intimacy. This can include engagement, marriage, or a form of recommitment to one another. Now, I, I, honestly, I don't know about that. And maybe that's what this is. And this is the decision that you have to make. So that's quite interesting. Um, they know better than me, the cards. So until next time, Aries, hang in there. I hope this message helped. Take care of yourself. Namaste.